Hello, beautiful humans. This is Minty D in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Now, I've always been fascinated by the differences between Western culture and African culture. How people survive, how people communicate, and how people make a living. And just those differences that we have a perception of how things are, but it's very different to the realities. So I'd like to experience it. I'd like to show you, and I'd like us to experience it together. So today, we're gonna go to the taxi rank and see if I can convince one of the conductors to let me be a conductor, help him with the passengers, and see what it's like here in Africa to get people to come onto their buses in comparison to Australia. So, let's do it. Come on. my neighborhood and it is always crazy. These little sweethearts are here every day. Every morning aren't you running around and causing trouble? So today they've got their bottles that they're playing with. So I'll say goodbye for now. Bye! <laughs> so come on, let's go. So I love coming here, coming through this part of my neighborhood every morning, every afternoon, whenever I need to go out because it's just full of life and everybody is so wonderful and friendly and it just feels like one big community. It's great. Hello. I like your dress. It's nice. Hello. What's up, Zotia? <laughs> and it's also interesting too seeing people coming and selling as well. So we've got people who come and they sell small items. And now we come to the busy street. So this is our main road here. And it's actually pretty quiet today. Let's head to the main main strip. We have a lovely lady here who, who sells clothes. She just had a baby. We've got our milk friends here. Oh, we've got lovely Jess. Jess! Cha cha Hey! <laughs> That's Jess. Jess is lovely. She's very, very friendly. Good morning! It's full of life. What's this all in the <laughs> and it's morning time and the music is going the life is just so how do I describe it I guess open and free and exuberant and that's the people who make the chapatis hello right and it is warm. It is, you may think that it's a, somehow a cool day with the overcast, but I can tell you it is sweaty. Okay, here we go. Woo! Now it is busy this morning, actually. There's a lot of people on the road. People are going about their business. You see there's so many people doing so many different things to survive. Like this guy, for example, who's uh, selling pineapple. Kenneth. This is Kenneth and uh, we're about to head up to where the taxis are and uh, yeah off we go. So it's 2k which is the local price. Just one, one. one is 2k. Emu. Yeah, Kali, watch it. Watch together. That's good, yeah. Right, let's go. Kali to Gende. And, and why why do they arrest you? Uh, I want to believe it, but I'm looking 
Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy, is it? How long have you been a boater driver? Two years. So this is a not usual phenomena here in Uganda. There are so many accidents. People come out out of nowhere and boaters get hit or vice versa. Now your friends That's are waiting for you. Yeah, yeah he's waiting for me. <laughs> uh -oh. So there's a taxi about to come and I'm going to try my luck and see whether they'll let me get onto the taxi and be a conductor with the other conductor. Although they're stopping a little bit further up so I'm thinking that maybe they won't stop here but let's see. <laughs> they're kind of waiting there a little bit too long aren't they? Oh, uh, you know we're at the wrong spot. I think we have got the wrong spot, so let's walk. <coughs> let's run! <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen this before! <laughs> oh, I'm getting beeps. I know this one! I know you. Oliotia. Chachiriwo. Can you show me how to be a conductor? Kampal Bagalod. Bagalorod. Lubagalod. Lubagarod. Lubagarod. Kampala Kampala Lubagarod. Kampala Kampala Lubagarod. I think, how do you do this without losing your voice? Kampala Kampala Lubagarod. Gwe, Jangu. I think there's some people up there. <laughs> so what I'm saying is Kampala, which is the, the main center, and uh, Jangu, which is come, and Tula, which is sit. So come, come, sit. Kampala, Kampala. Kampala, Kampala. Kampala? No. Kampala? Jangu. Jangu. Kwe. Kwe. Kwe Jangu. Tula. Tula. So this, this young man says he's done it for a long time, but I, I, how old were you when you first started? How old were you? 18. And how old are you now? 19. Kampala, 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 Neda. Kampala, 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 Lubaga Road, Kampala, Kampala, Kampala. Nobody wants to go travelling today. So quite a few of the people know me. Um, <laughs> yes. Please, Sting. Sting. I'm coming back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The Sting for the Sting Master and the Rock Bomb for the Rock Master. Where? Thank you for the experience. Thank you for the experience. Good luck. And if I see you again, then next time we have to have a dance. So, we just got off out of the taxi and we were able to travel a short distance. However, what we experienced was that people were scared off. So I was calling out trying to get passengers on board, but the conductor and the driver were saying that people see me and then they see the camera and they fear to get on. So that was an experience in itself, but they were lovely. They were so friendly and welcoming. And you know, you could see a lot of people in the street laughing and they, they all found it in really good humor. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait for another taxi, which I think is a little ways off. Let's see how we go. It's all an experience and it's so, so different to Australia. So actually in the last one, I had my body out of the window, but normally they have the door open and their entire body's out, they're hanging off. It's just, it's, it's crazy, it's wild. So let's see how we go. Oh, 
Up, straight dog. Uh, you can see here, this guy's got some... Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Selling lemons. They got like a little loudspeaker. You know, just going back to the taxi drivers, I don't know how they do it without losing their voices because there's a lot of yelling. Mind you, I think they just tend to beep the horn a lot. <laughs> Woo! But it was fun. It was exhilarating. Ah, I see a taxi. May this be the one that we want. Da -da, uh, 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 this is the, my little uh, daggy dance that I do to, to vibe up. Get ready. Get in the vibe. Get in the zone. Ready to be spontaneous. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys look good. Let's get... Eh. <laughs> So here we are, where we've just gone through the market here. There's another guy doing it, doing the taxi run. That was the one just before. I'm fascinated with how you, how the transport works here. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh, look, this guy's having a dance. So here we are, where we've just gone through the market here. There's another guy doing it, doing the taxi run. That was the one just before. And what they do is they collect their passengers. They call out to them. Often they have the door open. There's music going. So let's let these ladies come on. Hello. Although you're looking fabulous. Thank <laughs> you. I'm learning how this gentleman uh, does the taxi. Kabala, 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 Neda. Chechiriwo, Jangutula, Jangutula. Am I doing it right? Is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Chechiriwo. The one is Chechiriwo. Oh, what am I saying? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm learning how these lovely gentlemen do the taxi service, what the process is, how it is here in Uganda. I'm fascinated by how taxis are, how people communicate, you know, all that. It's very interesting. And they, apparently they call it an African massage when it's on very bumpy. Is that right? African massage when it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting a few people on. Now we're coming up to where I live. This is my neighbourhood coming up. I'm going to make a comment about this lovely gentleman who just uh, gave a very warm and friendly welcome. And it's an example, once again, of how beautiful and welcoming and gregarious and warm the Uganda people are, which is why I'm in love with this country. <laughs> I do. No, no, this is my friend. <laughs> my Makwano. They're going out to have to tell them bye. Oh! Okay, right. What? Tula? 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 You're Rianne. Lovely to meet you, Rianne. I'm Minty. Minty? Mm. From? Australia. Yes. And this is not usually where I go. Oh, look, and we've got some guys. Hello! Hello, <laughs> Bakasa. Oh, that's my neighbour. My neighbour is passing now. Oh! Yes, yeah, my neighbour. You know your neighbour? Hello, neighbour! Jangutula! Eh! Oh, Jangutula! Nawe! Jangutula! Yeah, here is good. Yeah, here is good. To Gende Kampala? Lukumi Bitano. Where are you off to today, Sarah? Town? It's 1,500 for a trip to town. Because you can easily slide off. Oh, we don't want to slide off. Do you? Yeah, you cannot slide off. So you have to do like this. Like, like this. this. 
Who's telling me no, how I should you don't do it? Have Great. To go out. Yes. Yes, like oh, that's the lazy version, is it? No, it's okay. It's okay. They, it's they the la- understand that. That's, that's more like chilled approach. You scream and you call. This is yes. Co- okay. This. Is, oh so yeah, you that's call right. Call from this side. Yes. But you stand. You stand also. I stand. Oh, no, on here stand and, here. And, and like be on just. Yes. Then you hold the other one to the other side. So this is this is a more calm version to what I was doing, which was terrifying. I think what I was doing was terrifying. I have to be a woman with what? Oh, I have to be a woman with substance. Can you say that again? Muganda, Muganda, woo! So, so Re, what did you say? What did you say that I had to be a woman with? of substance oh yes if you will work in the taxi because you have to bring results by force by force yes but you have to use your actions yes to bring and um, your energy to bring, yeah yeah your energy your, your not too much energy of yeah. grabbing from you can go out and talk to the person please how much you are for the journey and yes. this and that. negotiations so sometimes the people fear to, to come because they know the actual Hello, price madam. oh Kali. Versus what they have in the pockets, so that when yeah. they are so scared, so you go down and talk to the person. That's why he gets uh-huh. down to know what exactly the person has. Sometimes so the humble. client does not have what the actual price is. The one right. Yes, one thousand five hundred. They don't have it. They have one thousand, but they need to go to the same gym. So you have to go down and talk to them, and they tell them, "I don't have any money of really? my pockets." So they can actually negotiate. Yeah, they can negotiate. This and is do not you f- up to the supermarket. Okay, yeah, see, I, no, I didn't know that. The sale price, maintenance, all stuff like that. So. so, do you find that it depends on the, the, the conductors as well? If, do you get conductors that are more kind than uh, others or everybody humble? Everybody in this business must be very calm when it comes to money. They yeah. don't know really how much they will make for a day. It's not sure. They're not sure. Sometimes they make above, yeah. sometimes low, below the belt. That's why you've got to have a good strategy. Yeah, you have to have a strategy. You have to go down and hey, hey, oh, I mean, I want to go, but I have less for the journey. Yeah. Would you take me? Because yeah, yeah. that's, that's business, isn't it? But give me that, yeah, but give me that money secret so other people don't feel uh-huh. offended. So people, yes. okay, so they make a private negotiation. Mm-hmm. You come, you come here. There's lots of room, there's some beautiful ladies. So familiar. My gosh, I think you have a twin. Yes, Mazima. <laughs> do you like singing? Do you like singing? Yes. I like. Oh, so are you going to sing me a lovely love song? I like, but I don't know how to sing. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's nice. That's something I've noticed that, that, that you can do is they look after each other, you know. You don't know each other, but you, you're kind to one another. Sure. You have to be smart. <laughs> so what, what do you think the secret to living in Uganda is? The secret to living in Uganda? Yes. Uganda is a home for everyone. Yes. The pearl of Africa. The pearl of Africa. Oh, it's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think especially Ugandans are very friendly. Yes. <laughs> so hospitable. I think they just love it. They, they, it's like celebrating what you have and not what you don't have. That's what I've come to understand. Oh. There, there's, there is hospitality, but because I think we're a, a country that it's all very much about being an individual, being independent, and we don't have compounds like you have here. So here you've got a compound, you've got a real sense of community with, with people living in amongst one another. Like I live locally, 
in just in a co humble compound and I love it and but we don't have that in Australia so everyone's very separate so you you get you get people that are, have community and are hospitable but in a different way so people give away things a lot so they might have a fridge that's working and they don't charge for it they just say someone come and pick it up it's free to a good home now that's an example of our how we would be kind and and, and have community. How, how is the family? How is the family? Um, you know? Life in the council. Yeah. Yeah. We love family. Yes. And we are very big family. <laughs> Ten people living in the same family. How is it? Well, because Australia is very multicultural, we have lots of different types of family structures. So you've got, we've got big Italian, big Greek uh, communities and within those communities you've got big families and you often have kids that stay at home for a long time. But for example, if it's someone who is, um, I don't know, just like, well it's so, it's so mixed, like it's, it's so multicultural, but you've got other families who maybe um, only have one child or two children and then the children move out at 18. Like I left home at 17. He's a man, he's supposed to notice me. So that's why I'm asking him this week. You always see me. And he says, yes. You look, you're making him sweat. I've never seen him. It's you making him sweat. No, because I'm sweating too, so it must be you. <laughs> so now, why is he meant to notice you? Because he's a man. Because he's a man. Yes, a man is supposed and to what notice a woman. A man is supposed to notice a woman. Yes. He's not a woman supposed to notice a man. No. Oh. Yeah, but you got to notice if they're any good or not. I will notice like I'm talking to them. Especially, especially a man. Especially for us, our life is in our hands. They like to see. Oh, your they life is in your hands. And ladies, like, listen. Their oh. Mine is my ears, my eyes, and my and my guts. <laughs> I'm fascinated by the food wars. They attract us like a magnet. Oh, I see. You love someone. You might not like the guy's look. I don't like too many compliments. But when he tells you something nice, you really oh my god. That's the guy to listen to. I don't like that. No. You like a handsome guy without substance? No, without man has to have substance. So your tribe is JBI? No, no. it's an it 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 tribe. What's an itasol? It's a tribe. It's a tribe. In the east. Oh, and it's yes. called itasol? Yes. And the language is G? Uh, the, the language is atasol. Atasol? Yes. You greet JBI. How are you? JBI. 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 Yeah. How are you? <laughs> And then how would you say I'm fine? Biaibo is the common one, like the common Be one. Are you from there as well? Yeah, oh. Biaibo is a different one. You're from there as well? Oh! So we have the handsomest guys, you can look at him. So you'll so be... Easterners are called across the Nile. Because before you cross the Nile, you're still in the central. So Easterners are called across, across the Nile, the Nile yes. because they are literally across because the Nile. Because the Nile and got our east. Oh. Yes. There's so many things that people don't know about Africa and people don't know about Uganda that they need to know. They need to understand how amazing the people are here, right? Like it's, honestly, like, people get m misinformed so much, too much. Uh, uh, uh. How about that show on Chameleon? Did anyone watch that on the TV last night? No what? The, the show for Chameleon? No, I was in church. Oh, yes. Chameleon doesn't adapt anything to me, but when I go to church, I get the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and what do you feel like when you get the Holy, you feel the Holy Spirit? I mean, I feel very added on. My life does not remain the same. Yeah. I get added on. My life goes spiritually better, physically Be better too. Yeah. yeah. Becomes because heightened. when the Holy Spirit enters you, and you... So, oh yeah. Do you want to cuddle as well? So, I'd like to thank this lovely gentleman. We've we've had an amazing experience. We've been able to share how what you do and how you invite in passengers. 
He's getting shy. But um, give us a bongo. It's been an absolute blast. Thank you so much. And uh, we love Uganda. So now what we're going to do is we pay for the ride. I've got small change. Look at me, but uh, no, it's too good. Let me Zoa. give you a bit extra. I don't have much, as you see. Thank you. Just Thank enough you. to get home. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And let me say goodbye to the driver. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are really okay. We love Uganda. <laughs> Woo! So we're in the city, we're in downtown Kampala, and boy am I excited to be here. I cannot wait to share with you the experiences and the love that I have for this country, and I hope that you will too. Here we go as we go through the streets. It is wild, it is wonderful. The smells, the sounds, the energy. Watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it, Wow, we've got someone. Bye. <laughs> we've got a baby on the back. This is downtown Uganda. It is full of life. It is always busy. It is always bustling. I love it. <laughs> so as we come up to the one of the junctions, you'll see that it is incredibly chaotic. There is a lot of traffic, a lot of people trying to get through, and you can hear it's very loud. So there's people selling things, playing music everywhere. You can hardly even hear yourself think. park the main uh, one of the main taxi parks where we're going to catch our taxi home so that's where it's like the house of the taxis so there are so many different taxis they're going everywhere everybody's competing to try and get passengers so earlier we ha I had a discussion with one of the passengers saying that you know when it's quiet they don't know how much money they're going to get so they would negotiate with someone on the quiet if someone maybe doesn't have enough money for this whole journey because they need the business. So that's where we're going. So off we go, here we go. We're gonna go down to the taxi park and try and hustle a taxi. This is also a common sight here in Uganda is you have a lot of like storied uh, buildings with lots of different types of shops, odd shops. Okay, so here we are, we get reaching the main taxi park. Now let's just take a little bit of a walk so you can get an idea and feel for it. It's actually not that busy today, but you can see when you go a bit further this way, a lot of the taxis are all parked there, and even behind is just taxi upon taxi. And you can see people, you see they're trying to convince someone to get into their taxi and take their taxi and not the other person's taxi. So we have to find the, the stop for uh, Bunamwaya slash Chitebi Star. Chitebi Star! Chitebi Star! Ugandewa! Chichidewo! 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 Bye! Chitebi! 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 Bunamwaya! Wali! So, we're just making our way to the Chitebi Star bus art stand. So, as you can see, there's people coming through. It's not very busy. You've got also people selling items. Ladies bringing lunch through as well. So you can sit in your taxi and you can actually order a proper dinner. Chitebi Star! <laughs> you can be my stage boyfriend. But we won't tell you, have you got a wife? Have you got a wife? Osibota, that's it, Osibota, which is like, how are you? But you say that at lunch and the afternoon, right? Then what's your name? 
William? Kumwebaz. 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 Yes. Kumwebaz William. And I'm called Minty D. Like Pep Smith. So if your wife sees this footage, will you get in trouble? Uh, You're single. Uh, Are you single? Ready to mingle? Mazima, but stay there. He's coming with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. So we're, we're here. We're, uh, I'm very itchy because when you walk through the city, there are mosquitoes everywhere. Who's driving? Linda. And who's conducting? Conductor. Yes. He's working alone. Yes. 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 We have one bag for this nyabo. Where would you like me to put it? So the conductors will also help the patron, uh, uh, passengers as well. Now, do you want me to put it up here? Yeah, you okay? Yeah. I'm conducted today. Changutula. We langutula. Kumibiri. Ah, thousand. No, is Kumibiri. Step into Lukumi Betano. And then the now way. Eh 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 eh. Bana. I'm conductor for this one. Go. Indica now way. Oh, take it and pull and pull la. Step into. Pull and pull. Two thousand. Nenda. Step into. Sat a Lukumi Betano. Two thousand. Quid. Yes. You go. Kampala, Kampala. So it's, it is squishy on here and uh, as you can see we've got a nice close up here and we're squeezing through and actually we didn't have to wait too long, we man managed to fill up really quickly. Sometimes you can be waiting at a taxi park. How long does sometimes we have to wait, like four hours? Oh, it gets super hot in here. But um, one thing you have to be careful of is you just don't leave your bag hanging out or anywhere because you know, it's a busy city and people are in difficult situations and so they take an opportunity when it's there. But as long as you're smart about um, not leaving your bag hanging where someone can take it, it's fine. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about safety and also about the way people are. Like here, they look out for each other, you know? So if there's a concern that there might be someone leaving their phone somewhere, they will tell the other person. They'll say, hey, don't leave your phone there. Someone might take it. So they, they look after each other and it's wonderful. And and who on this planet doesn't take an opportunity when they when they're in a difficult, um, challenging situation? Absolutely everybody. It's a human condition. It's got nothing to do with the country at all. So that's something that I, I've learned is a is a misconception. I know whenever I sp have spoken about living here, and when I first was planning to come here, a lot of people were very skeptical. And they're like, "Oh, isn't it dangerous? Isn't everybody a thief?" Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
No, it is a, it, a gross misconception and it's, it's just wrong, it's just inaccurate. So I'm really happy to be able to share this experience with you and to, to give you some insight into how it really is and how beautiful the people are, so open and friendly and kind. And I think that gets that gets that gets lost with Western media. It's completely lost. Passenger one jeep. A change, change. Now, so now we're getting changed. There's, he's asking. He's being very humble. He's asking if anybody needs to get changed. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this lovely lady's given. Here we, we take the chain, the conductor takes the change, the, the money, sorry, and then they get change from the petrol station. Puna mwai or chitebi? Oh, okay. Matualo? Nyabo? I think I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a lovely lady here who's got the most beautiful smile. She's beaming with, she's like, like, what I know Ugandans to be like, warm and open and friendly. It's true, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're on our way back to Chitebi Star and we are in a packed taxi and um, I'm just thankful that I have no ass because <laughs> it's very squishy. Masima? <laughs> Uh, so we've got a it's, it's lovely it's a real it's very eclectic in here we've got people of all different backgrounds and we're all in this space together and it's it's always a very welcoming and warm space even if not you know people don't always talk to each other but they always acknowledge one another when they first get onto the onto the taxi they always say oh hello how are you now who's leaving anybody getting out no <laughs> What am I? Ha, 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 ha. 